Hi, it's Vince with Crank Chop, the chopper that's gonna chop all your food in a matter of seconds. Are you sure this is an infomercial or is it alternative dance? Hi, it's Vince with Crank Chop, the chopper that's gonna chop all your food in a matter of seconds. Yeah, let's get cranking. Blades are at the bottom. Food goes in. Peppers, onion, ham. Close the lid, pull the crank. One, two, three seconds, and you're done. Yeah, it's not like you had to pre cut those things to fit them in there anyway, is it? Cabbage. One, two, coleslaw. Yeah, let's try it. So, what we'll do here is, uh, oh no, look, how silly of me. So, let's do the chopping and, uh, no, so we've got to cut it like this. So in you, oh, Jesus Christ! It's... So you have to do many, many cuts until the bloody stuff fits in there, so you can cut it slightly smaller than the uh, size you had to cut it to fit it in there. So, okay, there we go. Are we ready? This $200 food processor like a jigsaw puzzle. It's like too bulky. A jigsaw puzzle with three pieces. What a challenge. Where the heck are you ever gonna put this thing? You want- Seems a bit much. Plus I guess you wanted to keep that bit, yeah? Look at that, you're gonna eat more salads and lose all that weight you wanted to. Normally I hate eating salad, but luckily now I can have it shredded. Berries for jam or yogurt. Vegetables for stir fry. Oh, me so hungry. Oh, me so racist. Avocado for guacamole. Okay, look what I have. A lovely avocado. So let's do this thing. And uh, how do we do this? I've not done avocado for a long time. So we do this and then this, is it? And we go like this. Okay, Ugh, I should have, this was a mistake. This is all a mistake. So, get the avocado in there. Get you in there like that. Slimy. And let's make some wok. Slippy. That'll do for our guac. Guac. Wasn't that simple? Even ice for great margaritas and the senoritas. I love how they're posing with it in between them. Oh my god, if I get a crank chop, I'll get hot chips too! Ice for great margaritas. So, does it do ice? After the performances of avocado and whatever the bloody hell I did first, cabbage, I'm very, very doubtful. But let's make margaritas! Marvellous. Sounds absolutely fucking awesome. Can you hear what I'm saying? Probably not.
We have big chunks of ice, snow, more big chunks of ice that have stuck to me. Hmm, don't think this is very good. Oh wow, that's amazing. This is so easy. We get it, people pull it. I love it, and I have a broken hand. What? You can even pull it with a broken hand? What is this madness? Very fast. I'm a plumber. I need to get out of the house quick in the morning. There's no time for me to chew food. Just chop it up into tiny pieces and force it down my throat. I've got plumbing to do! If you order the item in the USA, you also get a see-through grate But thank God I didn't, because you'd make me use it on bloody cheese, wouldn't you? Which is why I'm going to use cheese in the crank chop, because I wouldn't want to leave you all disappointed. So, uh, of course, the first thing we have to do is chop the cheese so it fits in the bloody thing. <sighs> okay, there we go. So, into the crank chop, the cheese goes, and we crank away. I feel like I'm starting a bloody speedboat, only with less fun. Oh, there we go. It's getting a bit easier now. It's a freaking workout. Well, there we go. It grates cheese. It takes 20 minutes, and it's a lot of effort, but it grates cheese. Are you happy now? So the crank shop kind of works. It takes a lot of work, and it's a hassle, but it kind of works. Kind of. Like so many other chopping products, don't kid yourself into thinking this will make your life easier. Not only do you have to cut it very small for it to fit in in the first place, it won't actually cut all of the items much smaller unless you do it for a long time. The senioritas. You also don't get hot chicks.